This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the focus Q. And what we're going to be doing is doing some tests on it today. A lot of tests. If you've noticed, the focus Q is a twin cell system. It has nine plates in it. But what I'm doing now, I've disengaged one of the cells. That's the top cell there. You can see that. And uh, we'll be just doing the test on one cell. What you see here is the reservoir system. Give you, give you a better view of it here. What I've got is one of those import that's where the hydrogen goes into the reservoir has been disconnected as you can see since I'm only using one cell there's the other port that goes in and if we go to the top of that this is my new test jig and you can see the bottle on the top right now I'm checking to make sure that it holds the hydrogen and it does you can see that there's hydrogen in there now we're going to take this cork out of the top and you'll see it settle down water is right to the top here this tube goes all the way to the top and then we put the cork back on it and what will happen is the hydrogen will come in here, hydrogen and oxygen will come in here and make this go all the way up to the top. That's 500 liters from there to there. What you're looking at there is the configuration I'm using on the focus Q you can tap any one of the plates right now I have five plates two three four in the fifth plate here got a negative over here and a positive over here obviously you can tap any one of these or all of these everything else in between are now neutral plates On the focus Q, what I have is you can do this. You can pull these off, straight off, and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the plug that plugs right onto the plates. So it just pushes right on because there's a slot there, which makes it very, very, very easy to manipulate these plates. We're going to be watching the analog amp meter there. So there's no problems with that and uh, we should be on our way. I have to get one more piece and that'll be the watch so that we can take a look at it. That should do it for us and uh, the only other thing I haven't done is hook up the voltage meter but it, believe me it's at 12 volts and uh, it's on a very heavy car battery I'll show you what that looks like went out went out and purchased a new battery for all these tests got plenty of amps behind it all right we should be ready to go here okay I'm going to be putting the cork on it now like so and we're going so I could it was at zero zero. What we want to do is measure it to the top. We're running at uh, six amps right now and when it reaches the top of there there'll be 500 milliliters
that's 500 milliliters and uh, you can see where that is I'm going to take this out of here you'll see how it sits up on top of that tube just like that I don't even think I had this thing completely shut. We're going to try it again in just a second. Let it start here. Again, we're around six amps. Put this cork on there nice and tight. Then start now. We were at 30. What we want to do is let it go all the way to 30 again. The cork's a little tighter. You can see the uh, it's moving up a lot faster. Remember working on 12 volts at uh, about 6 amps. When that reaches the bottom of that measuring device there, it'll be 500 milliliters. Now, since everyone measures differently, there's no way really to compare anything to anybody. I have to tell you that right off the bat. Alright, we're at 500 milliliters right now. And what I'm going to do, show you what that looks like here. So it's still running. That's about five, depending on where you're standing, it's about between six and seven. I'd say it. it's really, uh, well, it's going up a little bit more, but let's call it six. And here's your flow. This will give you some idea of the hydrogen going into the system. I'm going to show you how thick that tube is. It's a three quarter inch clear vinyl. So if you look at any of the other videos out there, you'll note their tubes are really small. So this, this hydrogen is coming out of a three-quarter inch tube. 